so you must have uh, recognized by seeing the diagram that what we are going to cover today is about the lifeboat okay so uh, it is one of the very important and uh, you may uh, be asked with some questions earlier I thought that I'll be covering lifeboat and then rescue boat and then life raft in one video itself but uh, as you know that I try and cover all the topics related to that one all maybe all the probable questions that can be asked from that topic I try and cover in one video so this video itself got very lengthy so this video is only confined all the probable questions that could be asked from live boat uh, so in subsequent videos we'll be covering about uh, rescue boat and then we'll be covering about the life raft so here we go so uh, we, uh, first of all let's take a brief example so it's uh, like life-saving uh, thing you can know and uh, how Solus came in picture and what was the Titanic incident after that and all these things become mandatory so we have first of all let's see what all types of life boat we have so we have life boat uh, basically in three uh, categorization that is open life boat you see here that uh, depicted here the picture it has no roof and is normally propelled by manual power by using hand propelled oars compression ignition engine may also be provided for propulsion purpose there in some uh, some vessels you will find open life boat has been used as a rescue boat however open life boats are becoming obsolete now because of stringent safety norms but one may find them and an older ships okay so this is the criteria now the next one is a closed life boat closed life boat as the name suggests yeah these are popular life boats are used on ships for they are enclosed which saves the crew from sea water, strong winds and rough weather because that is very important because open when there are chances that body gets exposed to the atmosphere, the rough weather and the wind as well as the rough sea. So there are chances of ingress of water. Moreover, the watertight integrity is higher in this type of life boat and it can also be upright on its own if toppled. So it is so designed that if it is toppled, it will become upright itself. Uh, so these live boats are further classified as pa partially enclosed and fully enclosed. We are not going to that portion now for time being. Next we have is a free fall live boat. Free fall live boat similar to an enclosed one because you can see in the diagram. But the process of launching is entirely different. So the launching of these type of uh, live boat is different. They are aerodynamic in nature and thus the boat can penetrate the water without damaging the body. So they are aerodynamic in nature so they are so designed that without damaging the body they can penetrate through the water and become upright uh, once it reaches the water the FIFO life port is located at the aft of the ship you will find it generally on the aft of the ship which provides a maximum clear area for free fall okay so because we have a maximum because as soon as the boat goes in the water then it has to go maximum far away from the ship so in order so because a sinking ship so it will it will even engulf the boat also so now let's take a look example at the requirements we'll be covering about the administrative requirement as per the classification society that is dnv or uh, as per bureau veritas or ir class okay so our lloyds and as well as solus so there are some general requirements as per classification society and there are some solace requirements as per classification so you can uh, uh, go through all of them in uh, one shot all live boats shall be properly constructed and have ample stability in seaway sufficient free boat when loaded with the full complement of person and equipment have rigid hull so these things are self-explanatory shall be capable of maintaining positive stability so there always need to be positive when in upright position in calm water and loaded with their full complement of person and equipment and, and there is also a hole that is in uh, that is for the drain purpose because the water that's there so there is the stability should not be lost uh, even if in the presence of that hole so it is so designed each live boat shall be fitted with a certificate of approval so there is a certificate of approval endorsed by the administration containing at least the following items so these are the items that represent that is manufacturer's name and address 
uh, in, in the certificate uh, like both model and serial number so this can be a separate question that can be asked month and year of manufacture number of person the lifeboat is approved to carry this in fact you will also find on the hull of the lifeboat it is written number of person approved even on the life raft as well and with approval information including the administration which approved it okay the certifying organization shall provide the lifeboat with a certificate of approval which in addition to the above item specified number of the certificate of approval material hull construction ensure the compatibility problem in repair should not occur total mass fully equipped and fully mannered statement of approval all life boats shall be of sufficient strength to enable them to be safely launched into water when loaded with their full complement of person and equipment be capable of being launched and towed when ship is making a headway so this is important a speed of 5 knot in calm water so it is being capable of being launched towed when a ship is making a headway at a 5 knot so when the ship is going at a speed of 5 knot it shall be able to do all these things hull and rigid cover shall be fire retardant or non combustible so it is obvious that the hull and the body has to be fire retardant and non combustible seating shall be provided on throat benches or fixed chair which are constructed so as to capable of supporting okay a static equipment a static load equipment to the number of person each weighing 100 kg for which spaces are provided in compliance with the seating requirement so each seat and the compliance is so that each seat is designed for a person to be of weight of 100 kg so in fact everyone will not be of 100 kg or uh, so there are uh, uh, minimization a load of 100 kg in any single seat location when a lifeboat to be launched by fall is dropped into the water from a height of at least 3 meter so it is uh, dropped at a height of at least 3 meter okay now a load of 100 kg in a single seat location when a free fall lifeboat is launched from a height of at least 1.3 times its free fall certification height so this kg of uh, uh, weight is present in uh, that is in 1.3 times its free fall certification height okay except for free fall life boats each life boat to be uh, launched by fall uh, shall be of sufficient strength to withstand a load without residual deflection or removal of that load in case of boat with metal hulls 1.25 times the total mass of the life boat when loaded with its full complement of person and equipment or in case of so when it is of a metal casing then it is 1.25 times otherwise it is 1.3 times in case of other boat uh, twice the total mass of the live boat when loaded with its full complement of person and equipment except for free fall live boat each live boat to be launched by fall shall be of sufficient strength to withstand when loaded with its full complement of person and equipment and with where capable skates or fenders in position a lateral impact against the ship's side at an impact velocity of 3.5 meter per second and also a drop into a water from a height of at least 3 meter so this should be the uh, speed by which the drop has to be there and this has to be the height okay the vertical distance between the floor surface and the interior of the enclosure or canopy over 50 percent of the floor area shall be not less than 1.3 meter for a live port permitted to accommodate nine person or less not less than 1.7 meter for a live port permitted to come over 24 person or more not less than distance as determined by the linear interpolation between 1.3 to 1.7 so there is an interpolation between these two distances for a live port you know in order to accommodate 24 persons no live boat shall be provided to accommodate more than 150 persons so this cannot be a live boat designed more than 150 persons so it, this only goes in the case of a passenger ship so these figures the number of person which a live boat to be launched by fall shall be permitted to accommodate shall be equal to the lesser of number of person having an average mass of 75 kg all wearing life jacket so these are taken into account uh, all average mass is taken as 75 kg all are wearing life jacket that can be seated in a normal position without interfering with the means of propulsion so there should not be an interference with the means of propulsion on the live boat equipment number of spaces that can be provided on the seating arrangement in accordance 
with figure that we have shown you and the space may be overlapped as shown okay so the, uh, so if there is an interference so the space can be overlapped each seating position shall be clearly indicated in the lifeboat so each in the, you must have seen while in your drills that seatings are clearly indicated access into lifeboat every passenger ship lifeboat shall be so arranged that it can be rapidly boarded so it, these are obvious points every cargo ship lifeboat shall be so arranged that it can be boarded by its full complement of person in not more than 3 minutes okay so the time requirement is also there not more than 3 minutes so these things you will not find everywhere in 3 minutes uh, for a cargo ships it has to be boarded lifeboat shall have a boarding ladder that can be used at any boarding entrance of the lifeboat to enable person in water to board the lifeboat the lowest step of the ladder shall be not less than 0.4 meter below the lifeboat's water line so wherever the water lifeboat line is there this should not be less than 0.4 meter okay now access to the lifeboat is done now we go on for uh, lifeboat buoyancy now again these two points are left the lifeboat shall be so arranged that the helpless people can be bought on board either from the sea or on stretchers okay all surfaces on which persons might walk shall have a non-skid finish okay lifeboat buoyancy so what has to be the buoyancy a lifeboat uh, shall have inherent buoyancy so there is an inherent buoyancy to be fitted with inherently buoyant material which shall be which shall not be adversely affected by seawater oil or oil products sufficient to float the lifeboat with its equipment on board when flooded and open to the sea additional inherently buoyant material equal to 280 newton of buoyant force per person shall be provided for the person of um, number of persons the lifeboat is permitted to accommodate point material unless in addition to that required above shall not be in installed external to the hull of the lifeboat okay so this is the requirement so additionally we have arrangement so that which can provide that buoyant factor lifeboat freeboat stand stability a lifeboat shall be stable and have a positive gm value when loaded with 50 percent so there has to be a positive gm value that is the reason why even if after toppling down it will come in upright position 50 percent of okay under the condition of loading described above each lifeboat with sides opening near the gunwale shall have a free boat uh, measured from the water line to the lowest opening through which the lifeboat may become flooded okay so there has to be a free boat measured for only for opening or uh, open type of lifeboat so which are becoming obsolete so it's not so much important each lifeboat without side opening near the gunwale gunwale i guess you know so if you are not aware of all these terminologies i have separately covered it in a separate uh, video you can go through that shall not exceed an angle of heel of 20 degree and shall have a free boat measured from the water line to the lowest opening through which the lifeboat may become flooded of at least 1.5% of the lifeboat's length or 100 mm whichever is greater now when we talk about propulsion mechanism this is also very important every lifeboat shall be powered by a CI engine it must have no engine shall be used for any lifeboat if its fuel has a flash point of 43 degree Celsius. this is often asked or less this is a closed cup test i guess you know is open cup test and closed cup test the engine shall be provided with either a manual starting system or a power starting system with two independent rechargeable energy source so we have a battery start and battery is always kept fully charged any necessary starting aid shall be provided the engine starting system and starting aid shall start the engine at an ambient temperature so this is another important requirement of minus 15 degree celsius within two minutes of commencing the start procedure unless in the okay the starting system shall not be impended by the engine casing seating or other obstructions the speed of the lifeboat when proceeding ahead in calm water when loaded with its full complement of person and equipment and with all engine powered auxiliary equipment in operation shall be at least six knot okay so this has to be the speed so uh, one k one case you have saw what is the temperature what has to be the flash point of the fuel what type of engine has to be there what is the speed has to be or shall be at least six knot and at least two knot when towing a 25 percent life raft so when a lifeboat is also has to be capable of towing um, uh, life raft so when it is towing a life raft at least minimum speed must be two knot or when independently without towing any life raft it, the speed has to be six knot 
Sufficient fuel suitable for use throughout the temperature range expected in the area in which the ship operates shall be provided to run the fully loaded live boat at 6 knot for a period not less than 24 hours. So with this speed it, it must run for at least 24 hours. Now water resistance instruction for starting and operating the engine shall be provided and mounted in a conspicuous place. So instructions are fitted, uh, pasted. What are fittings that we have? All light port except free fall light port shall be provided with at least one drain valve that we have already discussed the hole in the beginning. Fitted near the lowest point in the hull which shall automatically open the drain water from the hull when the light boat is not waterborne and shall automatically close to prevent entry of water when the light boat is waterborne. Each drain valve shall be provided with a cap or plug to close the valve which shall be attached to the life port by a linear, a chain or a suitable means. Okay, the drain valves shall be readily accessible from inside the boat and their position shall be clearly indicated. So there is, there are even pumps also, there are bilge pumps. So all these indications are there. You have tank wherein every Saturday routine you go and start the life boat. You also check the level of oil. All life boats shall be provided with rudder and tiller. Okay, the rudder shall be permanently attached to the live boat. So this is another important requirement. All live boats shall be fitted with sufficient watertight lockers or compartment to provide for the storage of the small items of equipment, water and provisions. Every live boat be launched by a fall or a falls except a free fall live boat shall be fitted with release mechanism. So there has to be a re release mechanism. So which shall has to be so arranged that all hooks are released simultaneously and release control shall be clearly marked in a color that contrasts with its surrounding. Every live boat shall be fitted with a device to secure a painter near its bow. The device shall be uh, such that the live boat does not exhibit unsafe or unstable character when being towed by the ship marking headway at a speed of 5 knots in calm water. Now, except for free fall live boats, the painter securing devices device shall include a release device to enable the painter to be released from inside. So there has to be a mechanism for when every person is aboard. So how it has to be released? So there is a mechanism inside, inside the live boat with ship marking headway at a speed of 5 knot in uh, calm water. Every live boat shall be so arranged. So uh, one thing you must have seen that for all the things the live boat has to be um, operated, the live boat should be able to um, release for the ship speed is minimum 5 knots. Okay. Except for free fall live boat, the painter securing device shall uh, include a release device to enable the painter to 5 knots. Every live boat shall be so arranged that an adequate view forward aft and okay, so there has to be a vision so that one can look forward and aft. Control and steering position. Morning. Now, live boat, when we talk about live boat equipment, this just will uh, go through in a faster manner. Sufficient buoyant oars, two boat hooks, a buoyant baler, two buckets, a survival manual, operational compass, a sea anchor, two efficient painters. Yeah, you can pause the video and read it carefully. Two hatches, water typed, repticles. We have a, a rust proof dipper with lanyard. A rust proof graduated drinking vessel, a food ration totaling not less than 10,000 kilojoule for each person. So I guess uh, we'll cover covering solar pack A and solar pack B. Four rocket parachute flares, six hand flares, two point smoke signals, one waterproof electric torch suitable for more signaling. So this I guess you are more signaling, you are aware of it. One daylight signaling mirror, one copy of life saving signals, one vessel, a first aid, a first aid outfit, anti uh, sea sickness medicine, a, ja a jackknife, three, three tin openers, two point rescue coats, a manual pump, one set of fishing tackles, so you can do fishing as well. Uh, sufficient tools, portable fire extinguisher equipment, a searchlight, an efficient radar uh, reflector, thermal protective aid, TPAs, aware of food ration and fishing tackles. 
uh, what are markings on live ports this can be uh, the number of person for which the live port is approved shall be clearly marked on it's okay the name and the port of registry for the ship name of the ship and the port of the registry the live port belongs to uh, means of identifying and it has to be in roman alphabets mean of identifying the ship to which the live port belongs to and number of the live port shall be marked in such a way that they are visible from above now when we talk about free fall live port there are some different free fall live port shall comply with requirement of totally enclosed live port described above so whatever we have discussed now the carrying capacity of a free fall live port is the number of person that can be provided with a seat without interfering with the means of propulsion so these things we have already covered we are just going through the width of the sheet uh, seat shall be at least 430 mm free clearance in form of backrest shall be 635 so backrest where the your back can lie 1000 mm each free fall live boat shall make positive headway immediately after water entry and shall not come into contact with ship after a free fall launching against a trim of 10 degree and a list of 20 degree okay it's full complement of persons occupant so as to cause the center of gravity to be in most forward position occupant so as to cause the center of gravity to be in most aft position it's operating crew it has to be sufficient strength so that it can withstand each free fall live boat shall be fitted with a release system have independent activation system you have to have be so arranged to release the boat under any condition 200% also uh, be adequately protected against accidental and premature use be designed to test the release system without launching the live boat be designed with a factor of safety of 6 fos has to be 6 initially requirement fully enclosed live boat certificate for approval for a free fall live boat shall also state uh, state free fall certification height what have what is the free fall certification heights at means at what height it is desired so these are the additional requirement for free fall live port required launching ramp length and launching ramp angle for the free fall certification height so these were the different criteria wherein uh, we saw the types of live port that is open close and free fall live port wherein also we saw at what speed Uh, of the ship the live port should be able to launch and what is the capacity of the launch what are the markings on the live port what has to be the speed of the live port and uh, if towing a life raft what has to be the speed for passenger ships and as well as the cargo ships so all these things we have covered in in a very detailed manner i just wanted i just wanted to give it in detail the reason being is that so that you can have all the requirements so apart from this and ab also about the engine it's flash point so these things some of the points those were very important which you can take away from uh, these things thank you so much